Hey guys, let us know with Crypto Marie Local and International. Kamala Harris addresses economy in speech has what to know about her policy agenda. Vice President Kamala Harris unveiled more details about her economic agenda in a speech Friday in North Carolina, proposing an opportunity economy as the Democratic nominee focused on lowering the price of groceries and prescription drugs and addressing the housing crisis with an eye on bolstering the middle class. Okay. Housing costs. Harris wants to provide $25,000 in down payments assistance for first-time home buyers and is calling for the creation of 3 million new housing units within the next four years, proposing a tax credit for developers who built starter homes and investing $40 million in, in innovation fund to tackle the housing crisis. Rental costs. Harris would also expand a tax credit for housing developers who built affordable housing rental units and is calling on Congress to pass legislation that would stop predatory investors who buy up rental homes and collude with each other to raise rental price. Child tax credit. Harris proposed giving families a $6,000 tax credit for newborns and their first year of life and we store a pandemic era tax credit of three thousand six hundred dollar per child for middle and lower class families okay harris also wants to expand the earned income tax credit for workers in lower income jobs which would cut taxes by up to one thousand two hundred and fifty dollar and has previously said she would continue president joe biden's promise not to raise taxes on american households earning four hundred thousand dollar or less annually and does support raising taxes for high earners and corporations according to the new york times okay there is somebody who has policy who has plan who has vision versus somebody that can even keep up with trying to lie about something somebody told him to tell the audience this former president donald trump tried to explain the policy he has somehow he feels like it's boring this is not him i'm not gonna talk about policy i need to disrespect people i need to attack people i need to tell people are dumb people are not smart I mean, this guy can't focus. There was something wrong with him. Now, when you look at those two candidates, if you are in your right mind, whether you black or white, whether you male or female, you cannot see the vision VP Kamala Harris has because you are such a racist and sexist person. You cannot focus on what America needs right now. Then we have a problem. Seriously, we have a problem. This man has no plan, no vision, okay? No policy in place. He can't even keep up with what the little information they give him to read through, to let people know what he's planning to do. He can't. This is not him. This is not for him. And you want to vote for him? Wow, this is amazing. Seriously. No tax on tips. Harris has separately endorsed a plan to get rid of taxes on tips for hospitality and services workers, echoing a proposal for former President Donald Trump, which has been criticized by some experts. Though a campaign official told CNN tips would still be subject to payroll tax and would include an income limit and guard guardrail to prevent people like hedge fund managers from taking advantage of the policy. Prescription drugs price. Harris proposed a $35 cap on insulin and capping out of pocket expenses on prescription drugs at $2,000 per year on Friday. Also saying she would speed up Medicare negotiation on the price of prescription drugs after the Biden administration announced a deal lowering costs on 10 medications and crack down on anti-competitive practices in the pharmaceutical industry that cause higher prices again she has vision she has a plan 
she put it down in a clear English sentence. You can hear and understand what she's saying versus somebody who cannot even comprehend their own English language that could not even put a full sentence together that includes verbs, subject, comma, uh, interrogation, question mark. This guy is a total fool. And um, to those people who feels like that he's the right person to be in charge of this great country shame on you that's all i can say shame on you when it comes to healthcare, the harris campaign also announced her intention to work with states to cancel americans medical debt and she proposed expanding subsidies for affordable care act plans that would save health insurance customers an average of 700 dollars on their health insurance premiums let me see something I'm trying to understand the logic of all those people who are for former President Donald Trump. For the guys, I think they have this macho shame thing on them. Like, I don't want a woman to control my life or control the country that I live in. Some white older guys feel like that. And some black guy also that has no common sense also feel like, oh, I don't want a woman in charge. Okay. When it comes to the women that are against VP Harris, I think it's pure jealousy. They feel like, okay, she has accomplished something. She made it. Okay. And to all those people, I saw an article where she used to work in McDonald as a teenager and walk her way to where she's at. Now, I don't want you guys to take this for granted. She started at McDonald because she was in school. Her mother wanted her to have the work ethic that she has now. Not everybody work at McDonald's are going to end up being the president if you don't upgrade yourself to the next level to educate yourself to go to school and earn something. Don't just say, well, if VP Harris can do it, so can I. No, this lady was a, a lawyer, a prosecutor, general attorney. Like, she made it, y'all. She has arrived, okay? She's educated, all right, in every level. All right. And again, to all the women that are not sure about VP Harris, I think they are jealous of her accomplishment. For the black men, again, and black, uh, black men and white men, I feel like those macho guys, those sexist and racist guys like Elon Musk, they feel like, no, no woman should be in charge of this country. Even though the former president is losing his mind, uh, cognitively, he's declining, he's not comprehending stuff. They would rather have somebody that's half dead in the White House than a fully complete understanding person. But because she's a woman, she doesn't have a chance. I just posted a video where Jason Kalakanis from Jesse Waters Fox show said, no VP Harris, no chance of becoming the next president. I take that as a complete threat. What do you mean she has no chance of becoming the next president? She's educated, she's ready, she's knowledgeable, she's the VP right now. You see, one thing I realize, as a black person in America, you're good enough for entertainment. You're good enough to represent America in the Olympics, to bring goals home, uh, have the best songs, uh, to hope, you know, to throw the, uh, the three points, to, to make America look great as a black person. But when it comes to being in charge, you're not good enough because your skin is not light enough. Your skin is not white enough. Those people need to have a clear mindset, go have several seats and stop being racist and take it for what it is. This woman is more than ready than that former fool, 71 year old, whatever age he is. No, 78. Ah, why well, I'm taking seven years off this fool. This man, 78 years old, is losing his mind. He's thinking all kind of nonsense stuff. Cannot complete a full sentence. Again, it is unfortunate that we see people that are educated, lawyers, doctors, people that have common sense. That are saying, yes, I am going to support Donald Trump. You know why? Because they are afraid of seeing a woman being in charge. It's unfortunate. We're going to change those people's mind. And they have right to choose to vote for whomever they want to vote for. But shame on them. You want to go back to violence? You want to go back to what? The four years this man was there? Or oh, give me a break.
things were not looking good at all in every level. <laughs> the, the debt ceiling went $8 trillion under him. I'm going to do a separate video where all those people that felt like they had free money from this man. It wasn't his money. It was the government money. And I'm going to tell you, it's not going to happen this time. So if you're planning to vote for him because you want to be lazy, stay home, don't have a job, thinking this man going to give you free checks, you are out of your mind. Thank you for watching. Bye.